think I've come up with something. That looks good. That looks really good. I'm living in a 21st century. They've got 2,200 hits within two hours. 22,000. Wow. We don't know what it can be. We don't know what it will be. We know that it is cool. This is our thing. Yes. This is our time. A million dollars isn't cool. You know what's cool? You? A billion dollars. We don't need him. You're going to get left behind. It's moving faster than any of us have get left with behind. Me. You're being accused of breaching security, violating individual privacy. Your best friend is suing you for $600 million. I didn't know that. Tell me more. What you just saw there was a trailer for The Social Network, which is a movie about the founders of Facebook. Now I know what you're saying to yourself. You're saying, whoa, 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 this movie's been out for a month. Theaters are barely playing it anymore. And to that I say, you're absolutely right. So why am I doing this? Let's just say there aren't that many good PG-13 movies out right now, so I had little to choose from. I'm not supposed to review rated R films because most of our viewers are under 17, but I'll make an exception when, when one of those very few hangover S movies comes along. So let this video just be a preview of what's to come in the future. Now back to the social network. Basically, this film revolves around 20-year-old Mark Zuckerberg, a Harvard computer genius who starts his site called FaceMash, which compares two Harvard girls side by side and asks the viewer to choose a more attractive one. He threw this site together in one night and got like 22,000 hits in only a few hours. Oh, and by the way, he was drunk when he did this, so we know this guy's good. After crashing the Harvard network due to the traffic garnered by his website, Zuckerberg is contacted by Cameron and Tyler Winklevoss. These guys are twins who have this idea to start a website called Harvard Connection, where students could add people as friends, send messages, and update their personal profiles for others to see. They had already produced some of the code for the site, but they wanted Mark to finish it for him. And this is when things get interesting. Mark tells his friend Eduardo about this new idea he has for a site called The Facebook. And guess what this site consisted of? Harvard students adding friends, sending messages, and updating their profiles, just like Harvard Connection. Eduardo deals out the cash to get the project started, and the Facebook gets underway. After they launch the site, its popularity skyrockets within weeks. To wrap it up, Mark and Eduardo end up meeting Justin Timberlake, I mean, Sean Parker who is played by Justin Timberlake, and who also is the founder of Napster, an illegal uh, music sharing program. Parker finds investors for Facebook, Mark becomes a backstabber, and Eduardo, along with the Winklevoss twins, end up suing Facebook for millions and millions. Even though all this went down, everyone knows how the story played out. Facebook turns into the largest social network on the planet, and Zuckerberg becomes filthy rich. Throughout the whole film, my eyes were glued to the screen. It's not like it was that suspenseful or action-filled either. It was just a genuinely good movie with a well-written script and a great cast. To be honest though, I don't think that the social network teaches a very good moral lesson. I mean, Zuckerberg kinda did steal the Winklevoss's idea, and he really did stab Eduardo right in the back. And even though he did all of this, he still becomes one of the wealthiest people in the world. So according to this movie, success is only achieved by stepping on everybody else along the way. Which is sad but true in a lot of cases. If you have a Facebook, which I know you do, I mean, statistically one out of every 12 people in this world have one, you must see this movie in order to appreciate the site fully. The story behind this multi-billion dollar idea is one that'll keep you at the edge of your seat from start to finish. Who would have thought that an awkward 20 year old kid could invent something so massive that it would change the entire world? Well Rockets, that's about all I got for this one. Come join me in two weeks when I review Due Date, which is a movie that has that one guy from The Hangover in it. I'm Sterling Shaw, staff reporter for the McNicholas Milestone, and thank you for watching.